threshold balance up until two, three years ago was only 100 million, which is not much. Up from the last year to about 500 million, largely due to gold. So we've seen that Indian businessmen have uh, acquired large amounts of gold at, at a constant rate. They're not just coming in to buy it once and leave. So there's actually institutional, um, I guess, um, uh, routes being settled by Indian businessmen in Bolivia trying to acquire more, more gold. I know two cases of two people that for the last two, three years have become the third and fourth largest acquirers of gold in Bolivia. And also the relationship with the syndicates that work the, the gold mining sector have become very solid. And I think there's a point there because I believe that Indian businessmen have, I would say, an edge over others in what regard. I think that um, any idiosyncrasy that you might find perhaps unnerving or difficult to deal with as a European or a, a person that more is used to being in a developed country would go to Bolivia and perhaps to India and find difficulties on you know, the way we drive, just in general. To address, I think, a main point of your question is I think India is a powerhouse when it comes to R&D that that's focused on developing products that are made to satisfy countries that have a lower per capita. And because of this, you've uh, had the development of pharmaceuticals, of just technology that's made readily available in terms of cost friendliness for the developing world. And I think in that regard, India is not only promoting something that is good for the markets of India, but for the world itself. I'll give you a, a crude example, the LED bulbs. The LED bulbs, when they first, first arrived, there was something of a novelty and a very expensive novelty at, at that. And because of this, and the insert, in, insert trying to insert LED bulbs into uh, a country of this magnitude, the production scheme and just the technology implemented has made it very cost friendly. And seeing things like this can be exported to Bolivia. Bolivia is the largest lithium reserve in the world. And it's something that I've been championing for the past years, for the past years in different places, but particularly here in India recently. I think that the policies that India is setting forth in terms of its ambition towards turning its vehicle 